Yeah. Picked up just on the ground when I was driving. Picked up. I don't know if you can see that. It's an HP F nineteen oh five E. Brought it home, you know, tested out, and had no power, no power on the lights uh, on the side. We usually, little blue light comes on. Well, I had no power. I know I had power at the jack. I know definitely I had power there because I test those leads right there. But I started to test out some other stuff. <coughs> and this one, this is a little fuse, looks like an eraser. It's a little 2.5 amp fuse, 240 volts or 250 volts. And uh, I test that out, got no continuity. So I pulled it out, tested it out again, you know, make sure that it was, it was bad. So and no continuity at all. So what I did is I, I picked a setup just like that, and I desolder it. You can find uh, other videos out there how to desolder it, and you see it right there, right there. Now this is a two amp one, and that one that had on it was a 2.5 amp. So I'm just gonna hope to see if it'll work. I, I think it should work. So I'm just gonna put it all in there and uh, test it out and see if it uh, comes up. I got five screws on here, one, two, one in the middle, three, three, four, five, and then one on the side for ground. Grounds the whole uh, metal casing. And this is my first time actually working on electronic stuff like this. You know, by trade I'm a electrician. You know what an electrician does? Just two, three wires and a receptacle, and and you're set. But now you got all this, which is uh, like brain surgery. <coughs> I'm pretty sure if it was something else besides this fuse, I don't think I would have attempt to even work on it. There's one lead right here that goes right here in this uh, little logic board that's part of the video. <coughs> and then there's a monitor, I mean screen. That's the back side of it. That plugs on, this plugs onto the logic board and then you get these two other that plug onto the main uh, power board. And this goes in only one way, so be careful when you put it back in there. Don't force it. It doesn't go in easy.
actually marked these so I know which one was the first one and which is the second one on both sets. All you have to do is mark one because you know if you get one in then the other one goes to the next one. <coughs> and also noted that it's blue, black. That's the way. And this only goes in one way too as well. You just push it in there until you hear a clip or you feel the clip. <coughs> Alright guys, I uh, put the monitor back together and uh, fixed that little uh, lowers and raises it up, tilts and all that. But before I even did anything, over here I plugged it in and you're supposed to get a, a blue amber light here when you hit that button and I didn't get it. So uh, that's why I opened it up and uh, went around checking to see what was wrong. So now uh, we're going to turn it on and I know yeah you can see it right there turn blue and there there we go wow look at that brought that monitor back to life now let's uh, really test it out when I put uh turn on the PC oh look at that I cleaned it up from the last time uh, from when I got it so here you go look at the Windows XP coming up and there you go look at that Wow, what a beautiful screen. Look at that. Brand new. Back to life. Just replacing the fuse. So any of you guys, you know, uh, pick up a monitor that's not working or anything like that, you know, do some research. Open it up. Check it out. But be careful when you do. So all right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe and uh, rate this video. And uh, oh, just, you know, whatever. Just leave some comments and you know subscribe and check my other videos out later